Hey, welcome guys. We are working in Chapter 8 of our um, Adobe Illustrator textbook. It's Adobe Illustrator Creative Cloud Revealed by Chris Botello. And in this chapter we're going to be working with reordering um, artwork or recoloring artwork, working with some transparency uh, overall effects, and then graphic styles as well. So I will demonstrate a couple of these uh, to get you going and then again as I always tell you, if you have other uh, requirements uh, to help you out, let me know and I will do another demo or two. All right, so we are going to, the first one that I thought we would do is um, lesson 8-2 using isolation mode. Um, this um, requires that we open Illustrator 8-3, so I'm going to make sure that Illustrator is activated. I'm going to do a file and open going to navigate out to where my data files are. And we're going to open chapter or week 8 and then we're looking for 8-3. There we go. All right, we want to do a file save as. We're going to save it as Elgato underscore your name. And then we want to get the uh, magenta swatch. Magenta. <laughs> yeah. Magenta swatch on the swatches panel or palette. So we're going to go here over to swatches. And of course, I don't see any magenta. I don't see any really color swatches, do you? Hmm. All right, while I pull up those other swatches, I will be back in just a moment. All right, I'm back, and hopefully we've got magenta in this little um, panel here someplace looking for what I think might be, but there's magenta. All right, but, but before we get into that, I do want to uh, let you know how I did find my swatches panel that I was looking for, uh, just in case yours was in the same uh, situation as mine was, showing only the pattern swatches. Um, if you go down here to the bottom and click on that uh, little icon that says show all swatches or, sh or show swatch kinds menu, click and hold, and then you can see that um, what I had up was the show pattern swatches. And that was definitely not what I wanted. So I then clicked on show color swatches. And there we go. Hopefully that's just what we need. All right, so it says click the magenta swatch on the swatches panel. And we're going to open the color guide panel. And we're going to click the harmony rules list arrow. And as shown in figure 20 or mine on the screen, the color guide panel contains a long list of harmony rules, all of which are sets of color swatches grouped together based on various established color models. Note that the first color, the leftmost swatch in all of the Harmony rules is the magenta swatch that we clicked on in the swatches panel. Whenever you click a swatch on the swatches panel, that swatch automatically becomes the base color. Now we want to click analogous from the Harmony Rules list so that your color guide panel resembles figure 21 or mine on the screen. And we're looking for analogous. Anybody know what that means? Um, 
just in case you don't, the analogous color um, guide or the color palette is um, are those colors that are adjacent to one another on the color wheel. So it could be any combination, but again, the colors would need to be adjacent next door to one another on the color wheel, and that's an analogous harmony. We're going to apply the various swatches from this variation grid to the various parts of the illustration of the lion. And there's an example. So I'm going to come back over here. And you can just choose parts of the lion based on this um, selection tool. You'd want to get the group selection tool. And let's just select one and what I'm going to do is I want that everything that is that color I want to be the same color so in order to ensure that I'm going to go up under select same fill color and you'll see that that uh, selected a few more things in that illustration and then I'm going to fill it with one of the colors that's in the analogous harmony rule And then I'm going to select this one, and I'm going to again do the same thing, same, say select, same fill color. And you'll see it too fills everything that's in that same value or same color with the one that I've selected. Again, selected one color, going to go to select, same fill color. Holy moly, I don't like that very well. There we go. And then we will select this one and again do a select same fill color. And we are going to fill that with something that's similar. See, I don't have anything in the harmony rules that I think is light enough, so I'm going to go down here to the tints and fill it with that tint. All right, then we're going to go to File on the menu bar and click Revert to remove all the colors that we applied in the illustration. I hate it when we have to do that. But there we go. Now you want to verify that the color guide panel is showing, which it is. Uh, you want to verify on the tools panel that the fill button is active, which it is. It's at the foreground. And then we're going to click the pure cyan swatch on the swatches panel. Now I think that's pure cyan, but I don't really know it unless they give me a list by name. So I'm going to say sort by name. Well, actually I'm going to say if I can get it to say it by name, show by name, show by kind. All right, we're just going to take my word for it. <laughs> there could be a list down here somewhere. We can um, reconfigure this so that it's by list rather than by color. And it is pure cyan. And you'll see here are the little icons here. They would, I were a snake, it would have bit me, as my mother always used to say. Here's the swatches, and then this is the list. All right, and you'll see then that the Pure Cyan Swatch, if I open that back up, then becomes this um, 
base color as indicated by the set base color to the current color button shown in figure 23 as well as mine on the screen. Whenever you click a swatch on the swatches panel or click a color on the color panel, then that color automatically becomes the base color in the color guide. Now we're going to click the selection tool and click the orange square above the illustration. The harmony rules on the color guide panel do not change, which they don't. However, the orange from the selected item now appears in the set base color to the current color button on the color guide panel. So on the color guide panel, we're going to click the set base color to the current color button. Sorry, again, if it was so close, it would have bit me. All right, so now the um, and that the way you get that set, I was thinking there was they're talking about a button at the bottom of the uh, panel. I don't use this um, this option very often, but it definitely is a great way to establish a harmonious color palette for your um, for your illustration. All right, so we're going to click the Harmony Rules list arrow. <clears throat> And um, then we're going to select Analogous 2, which is right below that one. We're going to click the Save Color Group to Swatch Panel button. And then we're going to go to the Swatches panel to see if that actually happened. Which I believe it did. <clears throat> There you sit along the bottom. We're going to use that color group now on the swatches panel to paint the illustration as shown in figure 26. So we are going to get this out of the way. Right, my desktop's getting a little crazy here, so. All right, and again, um, what you would do is select it with the uh, group selection tool. And if you want to do how I did it previously, you just click on one of the um, shapes with your group selection tool and then go to select same fill color and then fill it from with something from that panel and I'll let you finish out this one the next time I'm back we'll find another um, another exercise to demo I'll be right back <laughs>